is the second hike of this year, 2021. A short one, eh? We did a first hike uh, back in April and now uh, we're at the beginning of September. And we're gonna do the Free Lake Regional Route. And we're starting today, day one. Uh, we're gonna walk from Yverdon to Estavaillé Le Lac. Yes, yes, that's a bit a complicated name. It should be 22 kilometers mainly flat along the lake of uh, Neuchâtel. Uh, we just uh, arrived by train. Uh, we parked our car at uh, estavaillé le lac and uh, took the train to Yverdon where this uh, three-day route, which is called uh, Le Chemin des Trois Lacs, uh, the, the, the walk of the three lakes, actually starts. Excited that we're back hiking. Okay, let's go move out of the crowd. The train is arriving now. Okay. Uh, to remove these masks. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are leaving now Yverdon. And I think so we are going down to the lake. Um, today and the next two days the weather prognosis is very good. We will have a sunny day the temperature will be no more than 22 degrees probably 23 a little bit uh, busy that means cold wind from the north but a little bit only and um, yeah we are leaving now the railway station we are passing exactly below the below the the rails A little bit scary with with the train. Take a picture. So lovely. Yeah, Lake of Neuchâtel. This is the first two kilometers. We just uh, left uh, Yvardon. We are um, walking through a small forest here, very close to the lake. And it's beautiful, really. The fresh air. <laughs> Finally, wow. and no mask and no COVID. Yeah. Anyway, it's um, walking in nature. Be in the nature. It, it was the goal for, for these shore hikes. And uh, well, testing today our our Hoka uh, one one to one Speed Goat Four. These uh, shoes are very promising, and uh, at least as me, I'm very happy because I I can feel the protection on my joints, for my joints on my knees especially, where I suffer a lot. Um, I don't know. How, how do you feel, Ellen? I feel okay, but it's way too early after four kilometers. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Well, okay. First mistake on the day. Uh, the application on the, the app on the mobile phone tell one thing. The maps that we have tell another thing. And the marks on the row tell a completely different story. The result: we are some, we are in a in an asphalt road for this 
three or four kilometers until we join back to to the road. <clears throat> we need to climb a little bit a small hill and we didn't want to go back. We are in the middle. We have some traffic here. In one side we have the forest. In the other side we have the forest and we are in the middle without almost nothing. Let's go and see. It's not that we're uh, lost, uh, we're just off track. As Alex explained, there's a difference between what is marked on the website of Schweiz Mobil and then when you hit reality, uh, the, 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 the route goes somewhere else. But so we decided to go in the middle, as he explained, and uh, we know exactly where we are. But if you're a long distance hiker, you will know that it's always a little bit of uneasiness when you're not on track. So I'll be totally relieved once we hit back uh, uh, the track. But so far so good, I must say, usually we're very well prepared. It hardly ever happens to us. It's a bit amazing that it happened on first day, 45 minutes into the hike. Oh well, things happen. Okay, so we are here at the Refuge de l'Escarbille uh, at the beginning of map 4 and I hope that here is the beach of Yvonon I hope that there is a coffee there, huh? it would be nice to have a little uh, mid-morning uh, coffee As no? usual, of As course As usual, but let's see, I mean you never know, huh? Uh, but it looks like it's touristic, it's where the beach is of uh, Yvonon and otherwise maybe in Yvonne uh, Mem we will find uh, we will find a coffee or something. That would be nice. Look forward to that. Okay, now we are again on the track. Uh, much beautiful because it's on the forest and it's well protected from the wind and direct sunlight. The last, uh, I would say, three and a half, almost four kilometers, we did on, on the asphalt, on the main road, and it was not really so <laughs> nicely, but uh, anyway, that thing uh, happens. It's really, really a beautiful path here. Just had a quick, uh, very quick lunch break. Uh, did a little detour, walked into the 
center of the village called Ivano. We were a little bit too early, so you know, in Switzerland, only at midday they opened the kitchen, so we just bought a, a sandwich and had something to drink and the coffee. That was yes. quite nice. And now we're doing the second part of this uh, first day and we're in good spirits. Yeah, yeah, the weather is fantastic. Weather is great. We have now 11 kilometers. It's almost yeah, yeah. nothing. So we're at like half, half point. For the day. And a uh, great first day. Although, you know, I, I mean, I don't know, my body starts to hurt a little bit. But that's <laughs> normal on a first day. Yeah, we need to consider then due to Corona. Uh, we almost... Yeah, we weren't uh, as no, active as no, we would Not normally. active as we have, we have we been for the years previous. And also because we are not living in Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, all good. Heading for the second part. Even though it was a good uh, midday rest spot. And uh, yeah. We will see. We will see. We're heading uh, towards Cher. I must say this is really a boring part because uh, the scenic route, which would be right at the lake and sometimes even on a wooden path on top of the lake is closed due to maintenance, I guess, or something. So that means they deroute you on this asphalt road. Let me show you. Uh, clearly quite boring. Alex, you're also bored. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yes. And we are, of course, uh, midday, so it's uh, relatively hot uh, when you have to walk uh, with no shades. But I mean, nothing too serious, huh? Well, like what, 23, something like that? I Alex? would say 24. 24. Yeah, they announced 22, but. Um... Yeah, yeah. Also, the weather is actually much better than anticipated, so uh, no reason to complain. And of course, you can move quite uh, quickly on this tar road, so uh, yeah. We should be done very soon. Thanks. Okay, well, we just crossed the train lines and we are now around one hour and a half from our final destination for today. And beautiful day. Well, I will start reporting a little bit about my shoes, my new uh, Hoka one to one speed god number four. I feel like I am walking over the over clouds. It's very very soft. I didn't have any big uh, downhill to test the stability yet, but probably the next days we will have the opportunity. Um, it is a very, very good uh, shock absorber, something I really appreciate for my knees with the problems I have on my knees are really, really very, very good. That is what I can say at the moment. Let's go and see if I have blisters or not. I hope not. At least my, my foots are not telling me nothing yet. That means hope uh, it will go okay. I don't know, Ellen, if you want to add something regarding your shoes at the moment no, or it's too early. 
so far so good but I'm a little bit bored with this uh, terrain but other than that all good okay anyway we will see oh, it's more or less one hour that means I expect we are in the kilometer 17 or 18 around so one hour more I suppose then we arrive we are going up in a plateau oh muddy I hate that um, I need to concentrate myself here oh shit anyway um, we are climbing in a plateau where I expect to fly the drone and do some aerial photos if it's possible oh here is the lake it's so beautiful my goodness oh yeah Helen is coming. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful view. Difficult to regulate the exposition. Okay. Well, it's just 2.7 kilometers in Left, Holland. yeah. Uh, we are in Champ de la du Rue. <laughs> and the good thing when you hike in Switzerland, you have nature, beautiful views, but every now and then also a restaurant or a cafe or, or something where you can have a panache. Well, this is panache. Panache, this is not a beer, huh? Yeah. No? Well. Well, it's really a mix. Big. It's a mix. Half a beer and half. Uh, um, uh, what is it? What uh, is uh, ginger ale or, or something like, that. Something like yeah. ginger ale or kind of dry? It's less alcohol, um, a little bit yeah. sweet, but it's very very traditional here. And Ellen, you Chateau Coca Cola, no? My usual. <laughs> but good to take a break before we 
to the final stretch. It was a very nice day. It's uh, 15 hours, uh, 22 minutes. That means uh, we will arrive in, in less than an hour and we will have a, a chilly afternoon in the in the nice hotel, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to do some footage with the with the drone on the castle. Yeah. And um, yeah. I want to take a nice long shower. <laughs> Not too long. Okay. Well, and then we need to look uh, where we will eat this evening, huh? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I hope the restaurant in the in the hotel is open, huh? We'll see. We'll see. Okay. We are arriving to Stavayer le Lac, 22 kilometers from Yvardon Le Bon, without uh, pauses and everything. It was around five hours uh, totally. Uh, very easy. Oh, we need to walk a little bit more because we have the rail station here and we cannot. I will switch the camera to show you. Yes. Our car is parked in the other side, and then we are going to an hotel, Hotel de Sa Savalois. I don't remember exactly the name is. I don't speak French, unfortunately. My wife speaks perfect French, and um, yeah, this is exactly our car is parked behind these uh, trains, but we need to move. Helen is just behind me, around 50 meters. But I go in advance because I have a problem with the parking uh, fee. The machine doesn't work and has a banner telling us to take the ticket on the automat machine near the the office but that machine was not working also and I put almost uh, around five dollars for parking more than eight hours just to be on the safe side but um, the machine was not working they have a banner it doesn't print the ticket but it takes the money and it registered the parking slot and everything number 12 I remember but uh, anyway, and now I'm pretty sure of the best Swiss style. I will find. I will find a fine. Uh, hope not. And if I find it, I will need to claim and see how we how we manage. That is a machine. You know what? That is my car. Only if they have a fine, they will put somewhere. Oh my god, no fine. That's great. <laughs> No fine. Okay, our first 22 kilometers was very good. I think huh? it was actually more. Yeah, it was more, probably 24. Anyway, okay, let's go to the hotel. It.